Hi Weber fans, so today we're going to be cooking the perfect garlic butter pork chops on the barbecue. So what we'll do is go straight to it. Hi Weber fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, if those are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate. Slap that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any coming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if I like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. And don't forget everything you can use in my video, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products, so make sure you check those out. Right, so what we're doing today is a bit of a twist. If you remember a couple of months back, I did a garlic butter with a T-bone steak. Now, I will put an oil card above to that video, make sure you check that out at the end of this one. So today what we're gonna do is making some garlic butter, and we're gonna be seasoning our pork chops and making them absolutely beautiful and moist. With pork chops, if you cook them too much, they're gonna dry out. These turn out superb and perfect. What you need for this recipe is a medium heat and you need a direct and indirect cooking system. So you can do this on the baby queue, the family queue, the Genesis, you can even do it on the Weber kettle. So what we'll do is jump straight to it. All right, so first up, before we get started, you're gonna need a skillet or a cuteware pan. Now you're gonna need one with a lid as well. So you can use a casserole dish if you like. I can't fit the casserole dish in my baby cube because I've got the larger one, so I'll use it on the Genesis, but I can fit this. Now the reason I use the bigger one is obviously you can get more space and you can get more food in there and it does fit on the baby cube or treat and you can put the casserole dish lid on top. So what we'll do is get this cube lit and give it that 10 minute preheat and then in the meantime, we'll grab our ingredients and then we'll start making our seasoning and then our garlic butter. So what we'll do is get straight to it. Right, so I'll quickly go through what ingredients we've got and the recipe will be listed down below as well. Right, so for our rub, or for our seasoning, should I say, you're gonna have some paprika, some sea salt, and some pepper. Like I said, the quantity will be in the description below. Then for our garlic butter, we're gonna want some unsalted butter. You're gonna want some fresh parsley or dried parsley. I'm gonna use dried parsley today. Some minced garlic and then you're gonna need some olive oil. So what we'll do is get this season made and then we'll jump in and start making the garlic butter. Right, so now our pork chops are seasoned and we've made that garlic butter, it's time to get these on the queue.
Once our poor steaks have come off, we're gonna get them plated up and then give them a bit of a taste test. So what we'll do is get straight to it. Now don't forget everything you use in the video today. There are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products and the recipe is listed down there as well. So make sure you check those out. So again, to do this recipe, all you need is an indirect cutting system and a direct cooking system for your Q-Ware pan or your skillet. Rice with that pork chops, they came out really moist and they tasted superb. And obviously with that, just that little knob of butter on the top and the paprika, you can actually taste all those flavors and it enhance that pork. So again, those who are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any coming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment. And if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is cut to any bloopers and I'll catch you in the next one.